Hey guys, it's Ewan with the AirZoo with another SBD-1 restoration update. This is what the SBD-1 looked like a couple of months ago, but it's had a radical change since then after we had the entire airframe soda blasted. Soda blasting removes paint, primer, and some corrosion without damaging the bare metal underneath. This gives our restoration crew an opportunity to assess the airframe and spot any bad spots of corrosion that needs to be dealt with. After soda blasting, the airframe looked beautiful in its bare metal. It also caused a huge mess, and our volunteers spent a lot of time removing baking soda from every nook and cranny. But the process did unearth some particularly bad spots of corrosion on the tail that was previously covered up. We then primed the aircraft again and got it back into the rotisserie. This makes it easier for our volunteers to work on the bottom of the aircraft. And that's where a lot of the action is, as our team is preparing to fit the two large panels on the bottom of the aircraft. But first, there's work to be done. These ribs are all damaged, so we're taking them out. We've got someone already building new ones and we'll put the new ones in after we get these out. That'll build up this spot, which is just above the dive flaps or dive brakes. After those ribs have been fixed and the bottom is ready for its skin, the two large panels will be attached. That's scheduled to happen early next year. Elsewhere on the bottom of the aircraft, plastic is being used to help us recreate a section of the aircraft that we don't have. This piece was most likely lost and destroyed many, many decades ago. The fresh primer has also highlighted a number of dings, scratches and holes in the airframe, most of which we believe were sustained when the aircraft hit the water of Lake Michigan when it crashed in 1942. These are all beginning to be repaired and fixed. The wings are moving along nicely with one wing nearing completion. The top and bottom skins have been attached and the team are preparing to recreate the leading edge. Every day our volunteers work hard restoring every aspect of this aircraft. I chatted with Bill about a small part of the aircraft that he just restored. What you do? What you had to make this piece here. That was a little tricky. Why, what made it so difficult? Well, we had to heat the aluminum because you got a compound curve here, and there's too much material in here. We had to put a couple tiny slits there, but then we heated the aluminum using acetylene only. And the acetylene carbonizes the aluminum to the point where it's very soft. And then we built, we bent it around the form with, a, with body hammers and just made it Made it, made the curve and everything just right. It worked out pretty good. A little tricky, but not too bad. And to cap off this update, we received a special delivery from the U.S. Navy. They supplied us some parts from an SVD for us to use on this Dash One restoration. This included a set of dive brakes, perhaps the SVD's most iconic feature. Remember to like this video and follow us on social media to stay up to date with all of the AirZoo's restoration projects, including this, the Douglas SBD-1.